Welcome back. In the last video, I showed you how to write uh, six short blogs that you can schedule for the next six months and how to find 24 things that you can share on social media so you can try and build up your online audience. <clears throat> just before we, be we begin the next tutorial, um, I've just done the stats for a campaign I've just finished. Um, and in the last month, by doing this stuff, such as creating blogs and posts <clears throat> and ads, um, we more than doubled the amount of visits to the website. So uh, the previous month it was 764 and it went up to 1655. So that's a huge increase in traffic. Um, and then once I finish off the stats, we'll actually see how many of those actually turned into real customers because that's our most important stat. Right, so let's get started. In this tutorial, we're going to choose a page on your website that you want to promote, and then we're going to use Google AdWords Keyword Planner tool to identify the best words to use in your ad. So what Keyword Planner does is it actually shows you what people are searching for on the internet. So instead of just making up an ad and using words that you think people might be interested in, actually use the real words that they're searching for, and it makes a huge difference, even when you do that same ad across Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, and then before submitting your ad, we make sure that those keywords are also on the page that you're targeting, because that helps the organic re results, the SEO, search engine, um, search engine um, optimization side of your page to get found by Google. And then we'll create those same ads in Facebook and LinkedIn. So, first thing you want to do is choose a page on your website that you want to promote. So, um, I just did a bit of basic SEO for this company here called artframes.co.nz. They didn't have any words on their homepage. Now, to Google, the homepage is the most important page. So, even though you might have all these words on other pages, you want to try and fit them on your homepage. Because Google says, if I've got frames, Wellington, ready-made photo, picture frames on the home page, then of course my website must be something to do with that. So um, I put this phrase on here. Now let me show you how I came up with these words. I went over into Google AdWords, went to Tools, chose Keyword Planner, and I thought, well, what's the first phrase that I would use if I was looking for picture frames in Wellington? Slowly but surely, it's getting there. Right. So the words I want to search for... Oops. Yes, here we go. Uh, picture frames Wellington... Now, even though I'm going to restrict this to only show me words that people in Wellington um, have searched for, I'm going to put the word Wellington in there anyway, because uh, Google says that people normally type two or three words, and normally the third word is a geolocation, such as Wellington. So I put picture frames Wellington. Um, I've already targeted Wellington in my last campaign, so it's remembered it there. But if yours says New Zealand, just remove it and target it to the location that you want to focus these ads on. Don't bother focusing on the whole of New Zealand if the majority of your clients are from Wellington. If you do that, all you're going to do is just spend lots of money on clicks from people that, have went, that go, oh, actually, I didn't want somebody in Wellington. I wanted somebody in Auckland or Palmerston North. So we're just going to say people from Wellington. Let's get some ideas. So what Google is going to do here now is it's going to show us um, the average searches per month um, related to that phrase, picture frames Wellington. So we can see frames NZ. Actually, first thing you want to do is organize the average monthly searches. So the biggest are at the top. So we can see picture frames. Now, there's actually lots of key phrases inside this. So let's jump inside it and see if any of them are something that we think people would, would use to try and find artframes.co.nz. So if I jump in here, picture frames, it's going to show up anyway because picture frames is going to be on the front page anyway. But you have to be very careful with that because picture frames could be somebody searching for picture frames 
or it could be somebody wanting to know how to make picture frames, such as, you know, we wouldn't put picture framing in there. Well, you could, but it's more likely people wanting to know how to make picture frames, picture framing Hamilton. So that's actually would be somebody searching for somebody to make picture frames in, in Hamilton, picture frame mouldings, DIY picture framing. We wouldn't want that. Picture framing tools. See, now this is an interesting one that I've come across is, you know, we've got A2 picture frame, A3 picture frames. So what's happened is now that everybody's got their own new fancy digital printer, they're printing out their own photos, um, but most picture frames um, aren't A2 or A3. So they're trying to find where they can buy some online. So that's an opportunity for art frames in the future is to actually start targeting those phrases. Um, as we can see here, there is around about 10 people a month searching for it. There's no suggested bid. So if they actually started targeting that phrase, they'd probably you know, go to the top of Google AdWords. Um, I'm going to go back. That's not a very good one. So frames online, that actually looks like a pretty good one. See, so picture frames online, that would be somebody searching for picture frames online. So you'd use it. So here's what you do is you go through and you find all of the words that Google's suggesting that you think your customers would be searching for you. And what I do is I just open up a text editor like this and I just find the ones I want and I just roughly put them down. And the reason that I do that is the words that are used in there um, are the words that I'm going to use for my ad and also for the, for, for the description for the first sentence on my website. Okay, so once you've done that, then you're going to create your first ad. So let's go over to campaigns. Uh, this is actually in an account that we don't have AdWords set up for. Oh, well, it's not the one that we use our AdWords on, but it doesn't matter. We can still just create a mock ad to get us started. Right, so let's create a new campaign. Go. Why is it going so slow today? Um, search network only. And this is going so slow. I'll just call it test campaign. And we'll just go standard. Yes, that looks all good. Um, locations. We only want Wellington. English language. And I'll manually set my bids. And we'll go. I normally only do, um, oops, wrong place. Um, I normally just start off with $10 a day. Now do that with LinkedIn and Facebook too, because what you want to do is just monitor how those campaigns are going. If you need to, you can increase that. Um, like if you're in a really competitive industry like hotels or even web design, you're going to have to increase your bid just because it's so competitive. But um, Art Frames isn't actually competitive, so let's start off with $10 a day. And won't worry about the other stuff, so we'll go save and continue. And we'll go test group one. We're only going to create one ad, but you could actually create multiple of them in a group and just test them against each other to see which one works best. Okay, so enter the keywords. Uh, one per line separated by commas. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab all of these because these are sort of the keywords I want to get found for. And it said separated by um, oh, well, one per line or separated by commas. So I'm just going to put these in. Now these were a bit rough because I didn't spend much time on them, but that's, you know, that's up to you to choose which ones you want. There we go. 
Um, it's actually going off and searching for um, suggestions like we did with Keyword Planner. But remember, we used Keyword Planner, so I'm not interested in those ones. And then we go continue to ads. Right. So now we're going to create our ads. Uh, the final URL will be www.artframes.co.nz. And then we go write your ads. And again, I go back to this text that I've created. And we go, <clears throat> well, I think that Picture Frames Wellington is the best title. Because if somebody's in Wellington and they're searching for picture frames and they see their ad, they're going to go, that's for me. And, you know, and they've got suggestions here, including keywords in your ad, picture, frames, Wellington. All of those are great keywords. And then we want our URL, which will be www.artsframes.co.nz. And the first part of our text So again, you're trying to use as many of the keywords as you can because it means that there's more chance that your ad will show up. What I like to do as well, and I've, I've got some actually some spare characters here that I could use, but I'm not going to worry about it. I like to have a little bit of a call to action at the end because Google stats show that if you put a call to action on a page or in an ad, something like 20% more chance that it's going to get clicked. So, uh, so we look at the ad here. And it says, Picture Frames Wellington. Sorry about that phone, it's going away shortly. Um, and then it goes, Art Frames, Quality Custom and Ready Made Frames, View Our Online Gallery. And so that's a nice uh, quick ad. And if we wanted to show on mobile, if we think our target market is on mobile, uh, such as if you run a motel or hotel, a lot of your customers will be on mobile because they'll be traveling from place to place and maybe looking for a hotel or motel to stay at. Uh, with art frames, they could be as well. Um, if your website isn't mobile compatible, don't tick that um, because people get really frustrated if they try and go to a website and it's not mobile compatible. So we're just going to leave it. And then we go save. And so here's our ads. And that looks good to us, so we'll go save and finish. And please enter your default group bid. So if we were creating multiple ads inside that group, we could say we only want to spend $10 for the entire group. Hold on, this is the most you are willing to spend for a click on your ad. No, 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 no. We're only, <laughs> we only want to spend, uh, normally it's between $1 and $2, so I'm going to say even just to start off with, because we can raise it later, but I'm going to say a dollar. Right, so if I had my credit card hooked up to that account, it's already saying it's eligible, and we'd be ready to run that campaign and see what it's like. But now that we've got those good keywords, let's have a look at what we need to do next. So we used our keyword planner to identify the best words to use on our ad. But before submitting the ad, you want to make sure that the same keywords are on your website. So I'm not creating um, an AdWords campaign for Art Frames, but because I just finished the basic SEO for them, I know that all of those keywords are in this first sentence. So that's going to really, it's not only going to help them get found on Google, but it's going to help their ad campaign as well. Right, and where are we up to next? Right. And then we create the same ads on Facebook and LinkedIn. I'm not going to go through the whole, whole process, but I'm going to show you the place where you need to look to add the ads. So let's jump into Facebook. Here's our Facebook business page. Go up to the right up here. And then we want to create an ad. There's lots of different types of ads you can do, but actually what we want to do is send people to our website. Um, if we wanted to get more followers of our page, we'd do something like boost our posts or promote our page, but um, we actually want to send people to our website. 
and the website is www.artsframes.co.nz. Go. And you can even, if you do some fancy tracking, you could actually track it. We're not going to worry about that for now. Now again, like our AdWords campaign, we only want to target this for Wellington. The more focused you can get with your target market, uh, the better value you're going to get uh, your cost per clicks. Because like somebody from Auckland is unlikely to hire somebody in Wellington to make a picture frame for them. So don't do the whole of New Zealand. Just do the area you wanted. Um, Art Frames is in Porirua, so you could actually isolate it right down to Porirua. You could filter down even more and say, only show accountants or only show artists. Um, you can play with that later, but uh, we'll just do some general configuration here. And, of course, we want the main language to be English. Though, if you were targeting a different target audience, you could do it in a different language. <clears throat> we're not going to worry about all these other things, like, you know, their interests and stuff like that. Um, just like at AdWords, we're going to do a $10 a day budget. And... I normally set an end date because if you forget, it's just going to keep on charging you. So, yep, end of this month will be fine. And uh, advert set name. Oh, that, that's fine. Wellington. Right. Um, we're only going to use a single image. It's already going to grab the logo off the website. So that's cool. Uh, one image needs your attention. Upload a larger image. So it has to be a larger image. I'm not going to worry about that now, but if you were doing it, you'd just upload a better image. And uh, connect Facebook page. No, we don't want to do that. Well, if you had a Facebook page, you do want to put it in there. But we're not going to hook that up. So if Art Frames had a Facebook page, you'd link that up. And headline Art Frames Wellington. Nope, we want Picture Frames Wellington. And then, we'll, sorry, I'll just go back to my text over here. And we'll copy that. Your text can't include two punctuation marks. Oh, yeah, that's right. Bit of a typo there. Choose button. So, um, we can see here... Oops but it's hooked up to um, AOTO Motor Lodge, so I won't click place order. Um, but if it was hooked up to their page, it would be. And if we change the logo so it looked a bit nicer. Yeah, we need a different picture there. See, so if they had their own Facebook page, it would say Art Frames Wellington, and then it would say Quality Custom and Ready Made Frames, View Our Online Gallery, and then you place your order. Now let's have a look at how LinkedIn does it. So in LinkedIn, you go up the top right over here, and you go Manage Advertising, and you log in. Hmm, if I remember what my login is. And it's that one there. Oh, that's an ad. LinkedIn campaign. Ah, oh, so here's my last 
add, which I've now turned off. So we want to create a campaign. Um, I want to reach uh, LinkedIn members right in the LinkedIn feed, or I want to drive targeted leads across multiple LinkedIn pages. Um, so this is when you're sponsoring your updates. We're not doing that today. We're doing text ads. The reason that we're doing that is it just makes it easier when you're doing AdWords, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Just make all the ads the same. Um, when, once you get more advanced, you can do, go and do sponsored updates and stuff like that. But this is just to get us started. So I'm going to create a campaign. Enter campaign. I'll just call it uh, test campaign. You'll call it whatever you want. And we go next. And then we go my website, http colon forward slash forward slash dot dot frames dot co dot nz. And then we want it to be picture frames Wellington. And we go and grab our text. See why it's so much more handy just having this little text editor over here. We could actually put a bit more in there, but we won't worry about it. We're just showing you an example. And it's showing us how the ad's going to look here. Um, I haven't got a logo um, uploaded, but you could put one up. And then you go save. And so once we go back to um, our account over here, oh, maybe here, oh yeah, that is, sorry, it was down a bit, a bit lower. Where's it gone? Oh, I mustn't have saved it. Let me just go back. Ah, it's still in review. And I haven't put the image up yet. But once it was finished, it would show up in our list, and then we could turn it on to make sure it's going. So I'll just show you back here. Sorry, that was a bit messy. Um, I normally turn ads off and on, because when you're running the campaign... You want to check it all the time to make sure that it is actually getting clicks and so forth. And then once you've finished running the campaign, you then turn it off. Right, so let's go back to where we are. We decided a page that we're going to use on the website. Showed you how to use the keyword planner tool to identify the best words. And then we also added those words on the page that we were going to send the ads to. And then we created the same ad in Facebook and LinkedIn in our next video, we're going to go over the stats and see um, what's happened with those campaigns. One of the things is, too, is in your social media, um, like, like as an example, you might only have 100 people following your LinkedIn business page, but you might have 1,000 connections on LinkedIn. So it's in your interest to like your own posts on LinkedIn and in Facebook, because then more people see them, and as more people see them, there's more chance of them following your social media page. Um, and we're going to look at how many clicks you're getting from Facebook, LinkedIn, and AdWords, and whether you need to decrease or increase your budget. Um, how many interactions are you getting on social me media? So that's things like clicks and shares and so forth. And how many uh, new contacts have you made and the most important one is how much sales you've made. Now, there's lots of different ways to measure that, such as if you've got a website system that tracks how people are contacting you and so forth. Most people don't, 
So the easiest way to know how well your website's doing is actually asking you customers how they heard about you. But that's in the next video. So tune in next week for um, step three, how to monitor and improve your campaign.